Hi everybody, Graham, aka Dumpster Tech, and with me, Captain Curry. What we got today for you and Captain Curry Sauce? Well, this is the Ozio MK Retro, and then this is a big wood box, the aviator keyboard. So why do <laughs> aviators need keyboards? Don't they need like flight sticks? <laughs> We've got ourselves a little bit of an unboxing of two steampunk keyboards. Yes. So, before we dig in, this is what I would call your average daily use price-wise. How yeah. much is this one? This one retails for around $109.99 on Amazon. Okay. Um, you can pick it up sometime every now and then on Masterop. I got it for about 85 bucks. Okay. What about this guy? <laughs> oh, and this guy is about base configuration about six hundred and ninety nine dollars okay this is uh from data master now what we are comparing here between these two is we're talking about something that's more of a retail product something that you can get on amazon whatever versus right. something that's going to be a full mod artisan kind of artist right. project yeah and i mean we should clarify it no way this is a comparison of the two it's like comparing you know an apple with a cucumber no we're not doing that here <laughs> So this is just showing off two different style of, uh, like Graham mentioned, retro style keyboards. Yeah. Uh, well, and we really should mention too, this probably influenced this. <laughs> yes. So just open it up right now. You notice the packaging is just your basic cardboard box, a little bit of plastic, a little bit of foam, and you're right to the keyboard. Yes. Uh, this keyboard has been used by mm -hmm. yep. Graham. Both um, keyboards have actually been used by him. Both yes. of these are, are, are mine. These are not. These were not review samples in any way. These are Graham's keyboards. Yes. So, Graham, mm -hmm. thoughts on this keyboard? Um, I like it. Um, the one thing that I I, 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 this was, I got this keyboard later than the Datamancer, um, or in the Datamancer key sets that I have. And the one thing that I noticed probably right away is the keys are physically larger than the Datamancer key sets. Okay. Um, and so, but the mechanical switches feel good. They're cherry stemmed. It's up a cherry MX blue. Yep. So yeah, and you can see those. Um, it's it's a little more plasticky feeling. Well, um, yeah, you're than not... glass and metal and things like that. But it's a great keyboard. It still feels great. It's still wonderful. It's got the mechanical switch. It looks really cool. I mean, I get a, it turns a lot of heads. It lands and things. Yes, like that. it does. So yeah. Yes, it does. And one of the things we should mention is the you know Captain Curry saw it met Ozio at uh, yes we did at CES and there's talks about a, a retro two. Yes, there are, and I know they mentioned they're gonna refine it more. Mm -hmm. So right now, you know, instead of using a plastic edge, because this is almost all plastic, mm -hmm. so they're gonna replace the you know, these chrome piece with actual metal to give it a more you know nicer retro look. And I know some of the pictures that they showed me that they are actually playing around with some materials like leather. So instead of having a plastic hair, you know, you have a nice leather or wood or different materials to give it a nice retro look. Should show the, the feet, these rubber feet. Yes. And they do actually, how they do the height adjustment is they actually turn these. Yep. So they go in and out um, on these on these two back posts right here. So yeah. Now Graham, do they have backlighting? No. These are not backlit keyboards. Okay. Um, these are not, th these are going for very much that typewriter effect. Okay, um, so yeah. Yeah, you'll notice the, the keys are all just painted white. Right. Uh, I will also mention the cord is really nice too. It's kind of that sleeve paracord kind of feel. Yes. Yeah. Which is yeah. which is which is really nice. I mean, it's, you know, nice. I mean, it's, you yeah. know, for that price to get a little nice key. I mean, it's not detachable by like no. some like some mechanical switches. Yeah, I just noticed I like this little touch on the USB so you know what device you're You know, you know that's the in. keyboard. Yep. Yeah. I kind of like that. Sometimes I mm -hmm. get confused when I'm trying to unplug stuff. This your plain Jane retro keyboard if you want. This is something. your retail. Yeah, so if you want something which is just looks nice, it's, again, you're not gonna get any RGB or any kind of backlighting. Uh, they're trying to keep it as a real retro yeah, style. Yeah, the typewriter style. Yep. So if you like that kind of stuff, and I think based on what kind of build you have, this would actually look really nice on a nice, beautiful desk. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're going for like a steampunk build or something like yes. that. So, yeah. Yes, yes. Now, now, let's take a look at So, yeah, this is beauty. Not cardboard. This is a Oops. wood box. Yep. Looks like it's laser cut. Mm -hmm. Beautifully done. 
I mean, and this is why you're paying top dollar too, yeah. is the way it's packaged and everything. And now I should mention, I'm yeah. going to mention this while we're, while we're going open while Jesse's unboxing this. I'm undressing. It. Undressing. <laughs> this um, originally, I got this uh, this keyboard on eBay. This was a this was actually originally from Datamancer, um, created by Richard Nagy, the original Datamancer, um, before he passed away in a car accident. Um, and I had a problem with it. Um, it, it started, it, it started, uh, keys started not working and things like that. Um, and I contacted Data Mancer since the, the, the kind of the group has kind of kept continued in his name, in Richard's name. And um, I got them the original keyboard that they used, they sourced for the parts of this. And I sent them my, you know, my aviator and the, the and a keyboard that they used for the parts. And they were able to actually fix this free of charge, get this all working again for me. And they shipped it back. And all I had to pay was the shipping. So. These are great guys, um, and when I got it back, I ended up with the cool the box and, and the cloth bag that they, they use now. So originally, I didn't have that, so they gave that to me extra. So these guys just kick butt. Um, they are artisans. They treat every project kind of as its own artwork and its own yes. art piece. I mean, you can tell like the USB cable; it is handmade. It's not everything's here, mm -hmm. you know, hand assembled, leather inlay, real machined aluminum. Yeah, CNC. Yep. And, and you can you can really see the CNC aluminum oh, right yes. on the side. Oh yes. Yeah. And, and and interestingly enough, they use that same look on the box, on the sides of the box. Yes. <laughs> now I have not used a typewriter. I don't know since. I don't know. Ever. <laughs> Ever. But these actually, from based on what I've seen, they look close to what an actual typewriter mm -hmm. keys. These, well, they, what they do is they actually take these off old typewriters. Oh, okay. Keys. So that's why that's why I said when I notice they're a little smaller, they actually are more typewriter key esque, ah. and they're more actual. You'll notice. I mean, if I take a keycap, like let's take the delete key off of this, go on my, you know, you'll see. Right. It's considerably larger. Right. Yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> you know, I like this touch of uniqueness. They don't all come like that. That actually, uh, that that's a that was custom by the person who originally purchased oh, this and put it okay. eBay. But you can ask for that. You can ask okay. for that. They, they do that, but it's not part of the base configuration. Okay. Which is still nice. But I yeah, like you can get the different jewel styles and things like that. Yeah, and so nice. So, are they using cherry switches? No, on this keyboard, this is actually the original Richard Nagy was using a Solid Tech ASK 6600, okay. which is a pretty relatively inexpensive mechanical switch keyboard, which uses ALP switches. Hmm. Um, and you can kind of tell here, I'll take the delete key off of. Boy, there we go. So you can see the stem ah. is ALP, okay. not cherry. So they okay. use those kind of more rec you know, rectangle right. um, switches. But I think it works great. Um, I actually use a lot of Alp Switch keyboards. The Dell AT101W is that. Okay. Um, and like I said, I actually own I own several of those uh, those uh, those Solid Tech um, ASK 6600s, and that's actually how I was able to get them. Where I ended up getting, ah. I got <laughs> Directron actually had a sale of them for uh, for five bucks. Oh wow! And I so I picked up eleven of them so I get free shipping. Wow. <laughs> wow. So, yeah. yeah. So I will say this: this is more like a piece. This is art, and yeah. that's why the high price and all that. I mean. Look yeah. at the back. Signed by the artist. Yeah. yeah. That's like I said. I've got Richard Nagy. You know, this, you know, before he passed away. Yeah. You know, so I, I'm really proud of this. Yeah. Real wood in the back. Yeah. So I mean, you're you're getting something which is one of a kind, not mass produced. And yeah, I mean, I I would really kind of link it to like one of Bell's custom cases. Mm -hmm. you know, that he has done or the, like the one-off cases that where he's just totally gone out of the way and just created something amazing. Mm -hmm. So I think this is one of those things. Yeah. So here you go guys. Two style of retro keyboards. One's your artistic style, handmade, and then more of a daily use that, if you ask me, I think they both look nice. Mm -hmm. uh, this, of course, the fact that you can use it has a cherry stem, so if you ever get bored of the retro look, you could order yourself and you know set a keycaps and probably change the look and go to a different style if you wanted to. Yep. Or, you know, I mean, the cherry. A lot of people like cherry stones because it just allows them mm -hmm. a lot of possibilities. Now the nice thing I will say is uh, the, the modern data mancers actually do use cherry. Uh, you know, oh, switches. If, you, nice. if you order them now, they are cherry. Nice. The other thing that, that's cool about data mancer is if maybe you don't want to spend this much money on a uh, on a keyboard, you want to spend seven hundred dollars. They do sell. Uh, uh, keycap sets oh, um, nice. for everything except the spacebar because spacebars are different sizes right, and things right, like that. Right. 
Um, but you can get all of their keycaps, and you get different font styles too. If you go, you can nice. pick the fonts and things like nice. that, and the different colors. Um, and those nice. are about one hundred twenty-five dollars. Oh, website. that's not bad. So yeah, um, every now and then they'll show up on Master Off as well. Okay. So nice. I actually have a set. Oh, <laughs> that does not surprise me. I, I've been a huge follower of Data Mancer, so. Yes. So yeah. yeah. So yeah, there you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Again, I'm not gonna call it a comparison. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this quick overview of two different style of retro keyboards let us know what you think and you and know if you get a chance you should watch the uh the re one of our recent hangouts uh talking about keyboard modding yes yes yeah I'll this falls under that <laughs> yeah this falls under that and this is more of you know you just want something that looks different definitely and like graham said if you are somebody who goes on lands i i agree this is something that would catch a lot of attention We're like oh wait what the hell is this <laughs> Oh, this guy will do it too. <laughs> well, I, yes, it would. But, but at a seven hour price point, yes. Yeah, you might want to think about going over here just yes. to turn some hats. Yes. So there you go, guys. Let us know if you have any questions. Subscribe. Check out themodzu.com. And stay tuned. Captain out. Thanks, guys.